Hello YouTube and the world of skating. My name is Victor Halthorup. I am a two times Olympian and a professional inline skater. And in this video, I have set out to do a test on these two skates to find out how much faster a speed skate, Rollblade Pro custom made speed skate, 125 millimeter wheels, how much faster that skate actually is, comparing it to this Rollblade Macro Blade, three times 110 millimeters. These, both of them are best of the best in each their category. I myself is a speed skater, but I practice a little on the fitness skate, so I feel like there's gonna be a fair comparison. I'm gonna set out to do four kilometers equals 10 laps on this 400 meter road track. No tricky turns, and it's just gonna be fastest skates will win. I'm pretty sure this one is gonna be the winner, but I'm excited to see how much faster it's actually gonna be. To make it fair, I'm gonna do a warm up on both skates, and I'm also gonna do a bit of a training session so that I'm equally tired for both of them. I'm in pretty good shape, so I don't think that's gonna play a role. I'm wearing a heart rate monitor, and I'm gonna stick with heart rate 140, I'm trying to aim for that for the average for the two tests of these skates. I'll go from a standstill, so we also get the acceleration as part of the test. So I know from experience that one of the major differences between the two of them is the fact that this is a low cut skate, whereas the fitness skate has a high cuff. This allows you a bit more freedom and you can do cool things, technically speaking. You can do more effective, efficient crossovers and you can also do more of an outer edge and more of a double push as you go on the straightaways. Of course, this one has bigger wheels, it allows you a little more roll and it's easier to obtain and also maintain higher speed whereas the 110 millimeters won't allow that. On the other hand, this is a pretty comfortable skate so that's the reason that a lot of people are wearing fitness skates but in just about two times four kilometers we'll find out if it's worth it for you to switch to a speed skate. To make this comparison as fair as it can be I'll wear the same outfit, something tight, something aerodynamic for both of these two tests. We're about ready. Heart rate is 74. I'll do my best to get that up to 140 and maintain it there, stabilize it, and we'll see how fast I can get through these 10 laps. Okay, fitness skate test done. Hands down, I'm impressed by how fast they are. Um, I may have been a little biased because I'm a speed guy. Uh, these were pretty fast. I did the 10 laps, supposedly a 200 meter, 400 meter track. I did skate 4.21 kilometers. So we're just gonna go off with that. And the average speed with a stand start was 32.5 kilometers an hour. And once I was up to speed, the kilometer pace was for the three flying kilometers was 150, 149 and 147. And I managed to get a pretty stable heart rate about 140, which I think is gonna be the average, maybe a little less because I was at a low heart rate when I started, but a lot faster than I thought. The biggest challenge I found here when we're comparing it with the speed skates were the turns where the crossovers are not as comfortable as smooth. So I do get a little more stiff because I can't really relax in it and I can't really finish my pushes because I'm limited by the higher cuff. But 32.5 kilometers an hour for this four kilometer time trial on fitness skate, heart rate 140. Now I'm gonna put on the fast skates and we'll see how fast it goes. down again and we are ready for round two. I'll get back to the start now in my usual habitat <laughs> and uh, we'll see how fast I can get through.
results are in. I am just done with my four kilometer time trial now on speed skates and it was faster. It was a lot faster actually. It was exactly 30 seconds faster for four kilometers than on the fitness skates. If you take this and multiply it into a marathon, that would be five entire minutes that I would have saved on speed skates. I believe it to be even more if you're an actual marathon, you're gonna reach even higher speeds and you might have a chance of following a faster group. So in my opinion, this could be five all the way up to 10 minutes faster on speed skates. If we calculate this in kilometers per hour, I went from 32.5 at my high aerobic zone, heart rate 140, to with speed skates, 36.3 kilometers an hour from a stand start. I feel pretty confident I could keep this pace for about a marathon. So in my case, that would be five to 10 minutes faster for a marathon if I was skating solo. But again, in a group, I think you can gain even more on speed skates. Heart rate was about the same. And uh, feeling wise, pretty close. It's a bit smoother in these. You can take longer strokes and you can relax more in it, which I mean leads you to increase the speed for the same effort. But as a final point, I wanna say that speed skates are for speed skaters. They do make you go faster if you have the strength and the balance to really use them. If you're just out there looking for a fun skate and get into, get into good skating right away, stick with the speed, fitness skates for a bit longer. And then when you wanna go for results, if you wanna pick, break your PB, try out speed skates. I've been on speed skates most of my career and I find them to be more fun because I gained that stability and angle strength so I can really make good use of them. And again, 30 seconds per four kilometers. If you're into speed, and that's what I love the most about speed skating, then speed skates are worth it. Thanks a lot for watching this little comparison video. There's a lot of other comparison videos on my channel that you should take a look at. Bigger wheels, better or faster, tight suit or casual wear. I think you know the answers, but to me, it was pretty mind blowing how much of a difference it made. So check those out and um, yeah, I'll just see you next time. Let me know if there's any other cool comparison ideas that you guys got and I'll try and fit that into my next YouTube footage uh, kind of tutorial thing day. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you for next time, guys.